guys, Cindy out here with my RT Endeavors. How are we doing? I've got a My Creative Year. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is I want to do a review slash challenge. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I just have to find the right piece of paper to do this on. That looks good. Let's use that. All right, this is just a plain piece of uh, scrapbooking paper, cardstock. And what I'm going to do, just get this out of the way. I have been thinking about this. It's so funny for quite a while. And I've been saving, saving, saving just so I could do this video. <laughs> All right, this is it. Look at this. This is envelopes. That's all it is. Um, I have been looking at envelopes, the insides of envelopes, for quite a while now. And I just can't believe how many different patterns there are. Look at this. There are so many different patterns. This one's the same. Look at this. Let me bring you in so you guys can see these a little bit better. All right, let's start again. So there's this one. This one. Oops, that one's even different. See, that's different than this one. This one here. Oops. This one. These. This one. This one I'm not going to use just because it's on a yellow envelope. But that's another, you know, pattern. Here's another one. Look at all the different patterns. Oh, this one's got a little paint on it. Stripes. Uh, this one's got blue on it. I'm going to stick with the black and white ones, I think. Look at this. This one's really cool, too. A um, couple more blue. Look at that. So, anyways, what I've been doing is I've been saving envelopes. Um, anytime I get an envelope of any type, I pull it apart because I want to see what it is. Um, that one's probably from the bank or something. Fidelity, maybe. But... And look at this. Here's another one. Um, that's a bank, bb and t This one here. They're all so different. Um, that's a big one. Okay, and here's my paper. So, here's what I want to do today. Bring it back out. What I'm going to do, I'm kind of reviewing slash challenging you to make a page out of nothing but envelope patterns and then of course you can do your pens and papers and all that crap or pens and you know um pens stabilo pencil you know whatever you want to do as far as on top of that you're doodling okay so that's my challenge slash review now what i've done is i've pulled out i'm gonna move these out of the way i've pulled out a bunch of punches and the first thing i thought of when i saw the envelopes is flowers so we're gonna play with these to make some flowers and then I've got this ink splat I've got a butterfly believe it or not a donut but I, I have other ideas for that and then I have this mason jar I don't know why but here we go so the first thing I'm gonna do and I'm actually gonna keep you guys on while I do this just because I can chit chat that way so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch a bunch of these and we're going to make a really cool whatever kind of page with some envelopes, right? So actually, what I can do is I can actually fast forward through this part because it's going to take me a little bit. Um, I'm just going to sit here and do a bunch of punching. And really, you don't need to see that, right? Yeah, I'm sure. So let me go ahead and do this. I'll do a bunch of punching, and then we'll come back, and we're going to put together a neat little page. I will fast forward and be back.
right, guys. So I cheated a little. <laughs> I used some washi around the outside. And I got this, like I said, I did this mason jar just because I could. And um, I put on here, um, I just grabbed a couple of the words. I think, I don't know if they're Tim Holtz or what they are, but the words are see beyond. And I think that's really cool in art because, yeah, you've got to see beyond what your supplies are and, and, and just play. Um, I can't stress that enough. So I am going to put this on here. And it's funny because as an afterthought, I thought, oh, I should have done a bunch of these little jars and put flowers coming out of these jars. So, you know, there's an idea for another time. Oops, it's getting really wet. Let me... So, all right. And then I have, like I said, see beyond. I just want to. Now, um, the only thing I used again was envelopes. And then I've got some school glue here, which is what's in my fine liner. Um, a couple, you know, words and a bunch of um, punches. Lost my word there for a minute. And tacky glue, depending on whichever one I decided to grab at the time to glue stuff down. Uh, the heavier with the brads on it, I put those um, down with tacky glue just so that they would stick better. All right. And you know what? I love it. I'm not going to do a whole lot more to it because, again, um, you know, the, the review slash challenge is just to use envelopes. So, yeah, I used envelopes. I used some brads, some washi, and a couple words. And a little bit of inks, um, distress inks to go around the outside of the flowers and stuff. So that's it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to see what you create. Go ahead and post them here in the My Creative Year because we would love to see what you do. As always, have fun. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And happy creating. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.